DreamWorks Animation has had a bit of a bad image among the big animation firms. They're more like Studio Ghibli's intoxicated cousin who won't stop telling dirty jokes at dinner to their Disney and Pixar relatives. Mildly amusing sometimes, other times a bit off-putting. But that doesn't mean they haven't created wonderful pieces of art. While many of their films have snarky protagonists, their nearly 30 year career has provided enough artistic diversity for fans of traditional, stop motion, and computer animation. Those seeking action, comedy, and one of the best claymation films ever made will not be disappointed. So let's look at our top 5 DreamWorks animated movies of all time. Here we go. Coming in at number 5 will be The Croods. The Croods has a lot of action, a bit of humor, and some great vocal performances. It's overall just a simple family story. The overprotective Grug, played by Nicolas Cage, and his rebellious daughter Eep, played by Emma Stone, each try to face the world in their own way. Cautious versus curious. There's even an odd foreigner and a road trip storyline that'll be sure to make you laugh. The movie constantly uses punchlines that are maybe a bit cliche, but the joke is that these aren't cliches if they're occurring for the first time in history. That doesn't mean everyone old enough to drive doesn't feel a bit fatigued though. Grug, the father figure, is afraid of change and rules his family accordingly. The action picks up though when a nomad named Guy, played by Ryan Reynolds, arrives, full of ideas, including that the world is ending and the family who's stuck in the cave have to get out or become fossils themselves. His influence brings the crudes to life. Legendary cinematographer Roger Deakins was consulted for some of the visuals, as seen in Eep's Discovery of Fire and the universe seen from the top of the forest. This is where 3D animation shines, not in flashy action sequences, although those are pretty good, but by giving an immersive and subtle dimension to the field of vision. What must it have been like for the first people in the world to see the world's wonders? Coming in at number 4 is How to Train Your Dragon 2. After its spectacular debut movie, How to Train Your Dragon 2 had some very large shoes to fill. Rather than rehash the concepts of the first film, the creative team sought to expand the world in fresh and exciting ways. Five years have passed since the end of the last film, and everyone in Burke's Viking settlement now lives in harmony with the dragons, going as far as working or even playing with them. Though our hero Hiccup, played by Jay Baruchel, has grown, he remains as charmingly goofy and cautious as ever. But as one could guess, paradise is not always perfect, or at least not forever. Stoic, the village chief and Hiccup's father, played by Gerard Butler, wants to start training his son to be the next village leader. Despite encouragement from his now girlfriend Astrid, Hiccup is unprepared for the role. However, our hero must be brave when he discovers a gang of outsiders attempting to catch dragons. The animation's tremendous complexity is at times just bewildering. It's hardly a sequel to the likes of Toy Story 2 or The Empire Strikes Back, but it is a respectable follow-up to its first picture nonetheless. Our third entry is going to be Shrek. Shrek is more than a hilarious green meme factory. Shrek's pop culture references and sophisticated computer animation were a tremendous hit, establishing DreamWorks as a modern CG business to be taken seriously. Even though some of its humor and Smash Mouth soundtrack has aged like an onion out in the sun, it remains the cool kids alternative to fairy tales. It still respected its young audience and smirked at the parents who brought them to the theater. But seriously, how many Disney sidekicks get it on with and even have kids with a huge dragon? Coming in at number 2 will be Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is a good kung fu movie. The title isn't a sham. The film honors its sources of traditional martial arts. Poe, played by Jack Black, might be comparable to that of Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan, an annoying student turned into a fighting machine, a group of literal animal-based martial artists, a rampaging villain seeking revenge, and a secret skill the hero must learn to defeat the enemy. Adults and children alike will appreciate this humorous and vivid film. If you enjoy vintage martial arts films, Kung Fu Panda is the most authentic animated adaptation yet. And the last film on our list at number 1 will be Chicken Run. Ardman's Clay Poultry and Chicken Run may be their best piece of work yet. The farm fling animation movie is equal parts stunning and funny, riffing off jailbust movies like The Great Escape. 
It combines the best elements of Disney, talking animals, a terrible villain, etc., with the comedic edge, exquisite silent movie-like set pieces, and clever references of its keen British designers. Even better, you don't have to gaze at Mel Gibson to enjoy the film's action and comedy. So there you have it folks, did you like today's video? Let us know down in the comments below what your favorite DreamWorks film is. With this though, we're going to wrap up the video, so if you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos like this one. We hope to see you guys in the next video, but until then, I'll catch you later.